Damo here, so this is the first video for my YouTube channel and today I'm going to touch on an issue I had with my water snake electric motor and apparently it's an issue that is across all electric motors. So last Friday, dropped the boat in at Paddo's, motored up to my favourite spot, went to drop the electric down and had no power. I uh, couldn't get any power to the head, lifted the head back up, unscrewed the head and found my remote control receiver had cracks all through it and was melted on the bottom. So pulled the boat out, no fishing, it was absolutely spewing. Got home, uh, sent an email off to Water Snake Australia. Um, the next day I had a call back from one of the guys there, Callan. Within two minutes, he knew what the issue was. So these electrics, uh, their volt working range is between 12.3 up to anywhere to 13.7. But I'm running just a single battery that I charge from the alternator on my outboard motor. And I use a trickle charger when I'm not using the outboard motor. So, Callan informed me that the alternator is pushing over 14 volts through my battery and through the electric water snake, and that's what's fried the remote control receiver because it only works up to about 13.7. He also let me know that even when you're trickle charging it, you need to have the electric unplugged because the same issue can happen. So, I thought I'd just... Um, let everybody else out there know because I know I'm not the only person this happened to and this is the first time I've actually heard a solution to the issue so I hope this helps you guys out there I hope everybody's staying safe and uh, staying sane in these crazy times off the water and hopefully the next videos is uh, out fishing take it easy guys